Atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, is a common skin condition that can cause itching, redness, and scaly patches on your child's skin. While there's no cure for eczema, there are ways to manage it and improve your child's skin health and their overall quality of life. I use moisturizing ointment regularly to manage my child's eczema. They work by making an oily layer on top of the skin, preventing water from getting out of the skin from becoming dry. They should be applied frequently, even six or eight times a day for severe eczema. I always tell Mpilo to use the emollient whenever she feels itchy instead of scratching. After a bath or swimming, I dry the skin gently by patting it and then put the emollient on as soon as possible. I use a thick layer and smooth it on gently from the top of the body towards the bottom. SBR instantly hydrates the skin and replaces skin identical lipids. SBR effectively reduces symptoms within seven days. With daily use, SBR reduces the need for topical steroids for up to 12 months. To avoid contamination, it is always better to use a nozzle or to squeeze from a tube. If this is not available, use a utensil and replace the lid as quickly as possible. Aqueous cream may be used instead of soap, but it should not be used as a moisturizer because it may irritate the skin. When my child's eczema is bad, I use a corticosteroid cream or ointment directly on the bed patches. They reduce the inflammation and quickly make her skin smoother and less red and swollen. I use a steroid for the fast effect and quick itch relief from day one. During a flare, the skin is being damaged by the eczema and the steroid ointment will prevent that damage. Once a flare is under control, a lower strength ointment should be used and then slowly reduced until it can be stopped and just the emollient continued. Emollients must be continued at the same time as steroid ointments are used. Use the steroid ointment directly on the skin and cover it with a layer of the emollient. Mpilo's eczema used to come back very frequently. Then my doctor gave me a different ointment to use once she's better. I put it twice a week where the bad places are to stop the eczema from coming back and to prevent us from having to use more steroids. When Mpilo's skin is really bad, I use wet wraps. I put the ointment on, then cover it with a wet layer of bandages or clothes and then her normal pyjamas afterwards. When Pilo uses wet wraps, she sleeps well and the skin gets better quickly. The next morning her skin is smoother and less dry and itchy and I find we even use less of steroids. The Allergy Foundation sells a special range of clothing called Kitty Calmwear to make wet wrapping easier and more effective. It's important to identify and avoid triggers that can worsen your child's symptoms. Common triggers include harsh soaps, certain fabrics, fabric softeners, hot showers and overheating. Work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a treatment plan that's right for your child. Managing your itchiness means you need a plan that includes medicines, avoiding certain things, and using emollients regularly. Mpilo's action plan tells me how often to use emollients and what steroids and other ointments I should use. I learned to use the emollient regularly to reduce her symptoms, give her healthy skin, and help her live her best life despite eczema. So I can feel better, sleep better, and enjoy my life with healthy skin. Help us to help you. Go to the Allergy Foundation website at www.allergyfoundation.co.za 
and sign up the Allergy Foundation as one of your beneficiaries on your Woolworths My Schools My Village My Planet card.